You know that show Chopped where there's a mystery basket of ingredients and they have to make something and they don't know what's in there? That's what we're doing today. Derek from Van Oaks Props had this great idea where he was going to send us a box of mystery supplies and he challenged us to make a Halloween prop out of it. And we gave him the same challenge. This is all the stuff we're going to put in the box for Van Oaks and it's weird. Good luck, Derek. <laughs> so we have no idea what's in this box. We're going to unbox it, check out what's inside and figure out what the heck we're going to make. We got gummy oh. bears. There's a bag of gummy bears. Okay, this is already the best box. We have a solar light. Ooh, I like that. It's like a stair topper? Yeah, something like that. Foliage, some ivy there. Lots of glue sticks. Glue sticks? Baby okay. glue sticks. Ooh, these are cool. They're like little decorative accent things. Kind of squishy. They're squishy? Well, flexible. Okay, okay. A motor? That's a motor, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Now we have to make something that moves. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is that? So I assume we need this to make the motor work. There's a remote in here. Ooh, lights. This is cool. <laughs> what in the world are we gonna make? I'm panicking inside. <laughs> All right, first impressions. We need to make something that moves and lights up moves. and lives in the leaves. <laughs> Got the solar torch thing. There you go, we're done. Done. That's Beautiful. <laughs> we take these things, we give it some wings. Wings. Oh, okay. What? We glue it all together with our glue and our glue sticks. <laughs> Look, this isn't even hard, okay? It's a butterfly. You can make like a staff. Imagine this, and it's like a like a druid staff, you know, with like leaves uh -huh. all over it. Yeah. But the, oh, this could be the bottom of the staff. It could be. What's what's the short? St like a scepter. A scepter. A Halloween scepter. I don't know, right now I'm thinking like a floating lantern of some sort. Derek actually has a video on a floating lantern, so we could base it off of that. We only have one mortar though, he used two, so we'd have to figure out how to make a one motor you know, lantern. He also sent us, so this is a converter that changes a battery powered prop into a plugged in prop. And he has a video on this too. He just sent us stuff from his videos so that we'd have to go watch them all to learn what to do. Very clever. Smart move. I like it. How's it going? Not good. We got lights. And we have more <laughs> lights. And then we're gonna make these lights plug in so they're gonna be attached to a wall. Then we have to make it move somehow? What? <laughs> also, don't forget the foliage. And there's there has leaves. to be foliage. And there's in leaves, it. yes. <laughs> What are your ideas so far? Well, so we could have like a lantern because it's a lantern. So we're going to make a lantern. <laughs> make You're going to turn the lantern into a lantern? We're, I'm a genius. I don't know if you this. Knew is this is why we have a YouTube channel. <laughs> but it's a spooky lantern. Oh, a spooky. Okay, okay. A spooky lantern. Got I it. don't know. This is hard. You know what will help in the creative process? Gummy bears. <laughs> Apparently the package got a little warm because they've all melted into a single massive gummy bear. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's our art project right there. It's like beautiful stained glass gummy bear. Stained glass? What if you used the hot glue to make a glass panel? Uh-huh. Like a cool stained glass ornate lantern? Yeah. That would be fun. We slept on it and we figured it out. We're gonna make a haunted house. And, and, and. We forgot one supply that Derek had actually sent us. It's perfect, look. The box. Right, the box. We can make the haunted house out of the box with a little work. So we took a bunch of cardboard, cut in the strips, and then hot glued it all. Making sure to leave little bits of gaps there to make it look authentic. Now that we have all the siding on and all the trim on, we are going to give it a coat of Mod Podge. So this Mod Podge we actually tinted with black acrylic paint. It's really cool because it'll seal the cardboard and give us a nice base coat to work off of. Now we're gonna use hot glue to make little frosted window panes. It's really cool. When you put hot glue down on like a parchment paper and make like this puddle of it, you did this basically frosted window. And that looks awesome. Yeah, 
The trick is we have to carefully do the hot glue in between all of these little window panes here. The reason we're doing this now is because we wanted to get this painted first, the base coat. That way we're not really messy with the paints and we don't risk getting the base coat on the windows. But then I also don't want to like do the detail paint until it's assembled, but we can't do the windows once it's assembled. It's a whole thing. So suffice to say, now is the right time to do the windows. <laughs> The trick is to move fast so that way it's all still melty when you get it all in there. And then once you have it there, don't touch it. You're going to touch it and it's not going to be dry and you're going to leave a fingerprint. Don't ask me how I know that. So just wait. <laughs> that looks awesome. There are two tiny bubbles. What you can do if there's any mistakes is you can go back and put a little bit of hot glue on and then use a heat gun kind of remelt it back together. It's just a little sketchy. That looks really cool though. Yes. My plan for this little stair topper thing or whatever banister, I don't know what this is. <laughs> we're gonna cut the top off of it and then I'm gonna drill down and we're gonna use this for a chimney on the top of our witch's hut. The roof, I think we need to have it be removable. Yeah, so, so that way we can get in and access like the lights and things. Cut like, I don't know, a thousand of these or something. I don't know how many, there's so many, but we gotta start gluing them on next. So we're just gonna take the hot glue, put a little bit on there, stick it on, something like that, a lot of times. I mean, look at that. That looks super cool. This is one of those things that we've seen on YouTube, you know, a bunch of times, but never actually done it ourselves. I'm pretty proud of that. I think it came out great. We're gonna create a ridge line along the roof, as well as some trim to cover up these rough corners. The next thing we're gonna use are these cool little decorative pieces. And we're gonna put those like along the bottom of the ridge line. So they're gonna go kind of like this. And we're just gonna glue them in there. I don't know what these are made out of, but the hot glue did not stick. At really? All. No. It didn't stick Completely to it? Completely just came off. Interesting. I don't know, maybe there's like a mold release on there that we gotta clean off, or hmm. I don't know. Try and super glue this time. It's just, it, it's gonna work. Did it work? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's good. I mean, you could rip them off if you really wanted to, but... I mean, the whole thing's made of cardboard. It's true, you could rip the whole thing apart. <laughs> And this house is taking a lot more work than we anticipated, but I love it. It's looking so cool. This is turning into one of those projects where there's a bunch of stuff we've always wanted to try, but have never done it. And, and we're getting this fun opportunity. One of which is this base, which I think we're gonna make out of XPS pink foam. The foam is cool because we can actually carve into it. Like we can like make a little path that's you know cut out. We could you know, glue some rocks to it. It just, it looks dimensional. Yeah, it's gonna take 10 times longer than just putting it on cardboard, but that's us, right? <laughs> We didn't have time to like cast or do fancy rocks, so we just pulled rocks out of the garden outside. <laughs> and we're gonna just glue them to the thing. While the Mod Podge is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this little motor. Now this is AC powered and it runs off 120 volts, which means that it's the type of power you plug into the wall. So luckily, all we have to do is take an old extension cord and snip off the end, and we're just gonna hook those wires together, be good to go. Wiring's done, plugged it in, and we have spinach. Spinach? 
Okay, so next we have our LEDs. Now, these are battery powered. So this is a little device which can actually help us convert something that's battery powered to being plugged in. Derek actually has a whole video on how to do that. So go check it out if you want more information. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and snip off the batteries and wire this thing up. If I had another one of those little adapters, we could actually rewire this one too. But we're actually gonna make use of the solar power for the next part of the project. So we have three different things. We have the 120 volt motor power, we have the solar power, and then we have the wall powered LEDs. Probably somebody a lot smarter than me could make all three of those be like on the same power source, but uh, meh. We're gonna put the LEDs in the house, right? So the way we're gonna use our motor is we have this little witch silhouette and she's gonna be on an arm that's attached to the motor and she's gonna move in front of the window. And we got this idea from one of the Halloween town villages that we have where they do the same thing. But first I'm gonna put the LEDs on so we have something to test the witch with. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. A little witchy. Yeah, go like that. To get her on the motor, it just so happens that a skewer fits like exactly through this hole here. So we'll chop the stick off and then just for a little extra support, we're gonna glue a little piece of popsicle stick right there. Here she goes. And she's going backwards. Well then. <laughs> Okay, so she's going backwards. She's moonwalking. That's right. It's a moon witch. <laughs> oh, it's Where the moon is. witch. Okay. I can't believe that worked. You have to get her so close to the window like, like that, but it works. So let's make her go forwards now. I don't know, I kind of like the moonwalking. Our final electronic component that we're adding is our little flicker light. We added a little loft area up here and then we're just putting this guy just like that. Roof goes on, lights go oh. out. So cool. That looks awesome. Fire happening up here, some <laughs> spills being cast down there. All right, we have one more use for these glue sticks. We have this tombstone mold and we were eating our gummy bears and we we're like, this would be a perfect mold for some hot glue tombstone. It worked. It's not as delicious as gummy tombstones, but they're gonna work for this. The last ingredient we haven't used yet, the wild card. Way out of scale foliage. I have an idea. In Chopped, when somebody doesn't know what to do with an ingredient, what do they do with it? They puree it. <laughs> into a dust or a sauce. So, okay, okay, so what's gonna happen? We're gonna take this large foliage and turn it into small foliage. I give this like a 1% <laughs> chance of working. <laughs> All right, who's ready for some science here? I don't know if you're gonna call that science. I don't think anything happened. <laughs> okay, experiment number one was a failure. Let me try a different setting first. No? <laughs> we try adding water? Sure. This is not working at all. So we're gonna have to cut them by hand. We can chop them, like chopped. So I think you've taken this cooking show analogy just a little too far. It's called the creative process, okay? <laughs> this isn't working. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, these things are so strong. There we go. I really wanted your idea to work, but it didn't. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. We cut this up as small as we can possibly get it. And then we have moss and we can cut this up too. And we'll mix them together. It'll look like and a pile of leaves or something? Yeah, yeah, it'll look great.
Huge thanks to Derek at Van Oaks Props for coming up with this whole idea. This was so cool. I love it. And if you guys want to see us do more of this type of like diorama and miniature stuff, let us know. Cause like I said, yes, it was so much fun to do. And just very challenging. Like there's a lot of things that we've never done before that we had to kind of try. And so we sent Derek a mystery box as well. So you can go check out his video on his channel. We'll link that in the video description so you can see the continuation of this challenge. We sent him some really weird stuff. So yeah. So. Super really excited to see what he came up with. <laughs> if you want to see a super epic haunted house we made out of a dollhouse, check out the link below. It's awesome. Hope you guys liked this one. Let us know in the comments if you did. Until next time, stay wicked.